channel or welcome so today we will be doing swatches on most of the Ofra most of the glitch hollow tote bundle collection so this is the entire collection and I'm just gonna go over the things that are in there and the prices on them so the first thing is the glitch hollow palette so if you get if you get this entire bundle it is $79 plus tax and it is still available on their site according to them it's less it's $141 value I'm not sure how accurate that is but according to them that's what it is so this glitch palette has nine liquid to baked metallic eyeshadows and this is how it looks inside so it's all metallics no mats in there so that's that the next thing in here is an eyeliner and this eyeliner by itself would be twenty dollars and this is the verified drama proof liquid liner next is oh this is a sample they put a sample in here of a cool as cucumber moisturizer I'm not gonna be using this one today and then we have a lip gloss this lip gloss is listed for $15 on their website it's the BRB lip gloss icy lavender shimmer gloss and it looks like that next is the mascara the mascara on their website is listed for $25 by itself and this is an HD volumizing mascara black lengthening and thickening and defining mascara and it looks like this in the box okay wow my hair is frizzy AF sorry guys I actually showered today okay bueno and the last thing that I will not be using is this midi palette unfortunately this midi palette is exclusive to the uh, bundle so you can't get it on your on its own who knows maybe they'll they'll do they'll do it on on its own i am not gonna open it because i am doing a giveaway and this is included in there and i've already opened it so if you want to go check out that giveaway and the how it looks inside then uh, you can go check it out and i'll put it up here this is how it looks and the shades in there are pillow talk space baby star island and you know ofra is known for their highlighter so i'm sure this is going to be amazing for whoever wins the giveaway so last but not least is this cute little bag it actually feels like nice plastic not super cheapy so that is the entire thing now i added up the prices of what is listed because the midi palette the price is not listed on their website as it is exclusive so it's $89 without this highlight palette and without the bag the price of the bag so I'm not sure if that does anything it helps you with anything but in case you wanted to know that so now the I am going to do the swatches on everything except for the highlight palette but I'm going to start with these items and then the very end will be the swatches of the eyeshadow palette so I am going to start let's start with the lip gloss I, I really like this little square square rectangle <laughs> so that's how it looks it is small not sure if you can tell I don't have huge hands so it's as big as my palm and I should have got a mirror okay let's try this oh you can see that Feels like something. So no. So it has little shimmers in it, little glitters in it. I like it. It's not sticky. Okay, so that's the lip gloss. So I'm going to move on. 
the liner. I don't know why the box is so big. Like this is not necessary. Cause it looks like that. And it was put in there like this backwards. So that's nice. Hopefully it's nice and pigmented. Cause it was stored like this. Well, actually it wasn't stored like that cause it was in the bag. So it wasn't storing it like that. So this isn't gonna be the best liner. I'm just doing it quick. That way you guys can see how, um, how it looks. So I really wanted to try this little collection because I don't have a lot of Ofra. The only thing of Ofra that I have is a lip gloss and a liquid matte lip that I got in my Ipsy, which was when they collaborated with Madison Miller. And then I have um, highlight. And of course they're known for the highlight and that highlight I use all the time. Hmm. I don't really like this liner. That is the worst liner ever, but as I'm looking at it in the mirror, it doesn't look very dark. Can you see that? Obviously the application is the worst, but do you see that? It's like meh. For $20? No, don't get this. I'm sure you can get a better liner from the drugstore, so you do not need this. Okay, next is the mascara. Ooh, I like the packaging. I've never had a mascara that's squared like this. I guess it's Ofra's thing. It's nice. That's how the wand looks. It's a nice wand. Works nicely. I see my lashes getting longer. And now I am applying and applying and applying. And they're not getting clumpy. I really like it. Do you see those lashes? My lashes normally never look like that. Wow. I mean, I don't know how, I didn't even curl them or anything. I don't know how long they all like, it'll last and everything, but so far I like it. This is listed for $25. Honestly, I don't think I'd ever, unless I really end up like super loving this, I don't think I can see myself paying $25 for a mascara. But so far, I like it. I'm gonna leave it on. I'm just gonna swatch uh, shadows on this one. I'm gonna leave this on to see how it lasts over the swatches. Like, I don't think the swatches will take that long. Maybe like 10 minutes or so, or maybe more. But do you see that? That's nice. Okay, let me move on to the shadows because I know everyone's interested in that. So, so this is $29 by itself. As you can see, I already tore this because I wanted to see it as soon as I got it, but I haven't used it at all. Um, it comes with this little plastic thing. I actually like this plastic thing because you see how it's like, it's not just one that slides off. So I think I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep this. Usually the plastics, I throw them away because they're always like sliding out and stuff. So let me start by setting my putting some concealer and setting my lid and then i'll start with the shades i'll skip over this that way you don't have to see this so i'm going to start as i always start i see 
I see. Yes, see. And all right. Kind of worried. So that's how it looks on the brush. So that's nice. you my German Shepherd fiddle. She's too big for me to carry. Come here, Sammy. Come here. You want to say hi? Say hello. Say hello. Hello, hello. Baloo. Baloo. Baloo-loo. Hey. <laughs> okay, enough, guys. Baloo loves new attention. I swear, if someone were to give him a treat or something, he'd be like, bye, mom. I'm leaving with this new person. Okay, back to rhinestones. I'm going to wet it now. And see if we can get...
let's get into the final thoughts. The final countdown. All right, my final thoughts on the collection, the entire collection is, so I like, I like most of what I got in the collection. I like the little bag. I like the lip gloss, it was really nice. I like, don't really like the eyeliner. I like the mascara, you can see that? I like the mascara. And I like the eyeshadow palette. Now the highlight palette, I can't tell you, but I'm sure it's gonna be great for whoever wins the giveaway. So my final thoughts, do you need this in your life? Do you really need it? If you wanna get things individually, what I do recommend, I honestly, I can't see myself paying. The liner is out of the question. <clears throat> Not the liner. The volumizing mascara, so far I like it, but I cannot bring myself to pay $25 for a mascara. Uh, the midi palette, which is the highlight palette, is not it's it's not sold on its own. So that would be a no, right? The lip gloss, I really like so far. It's still on there and looks pretty. Uh, $15, I may I may spend that much on a lip gloss, but that lip gloss, this lip gloss looks tiny. It is 0.11 fluid ounces, so maybe not on a liner, I mean on a lip gloss this small. The palette, $29. I honestly, I don't recommend you guys buying this on its own. $29 for nine shades. I don't, I don't recommend it, I'm sorry. I did like them. I like how pigmented they were. But I'm sure you guys have seen my other eye swatches like the Juvia's Place palettes. What other ones? Color Pops, like their metallics are so much better. And these, I don't know, like you have to add water to them and so they can pop a little, so they can get a little foiled. I like foiled ones that you can just like, ooh, it's so shimmer. These are more powdery, but I did like the pigmentation. The pigmentation was there. Um, but I don't recommend that you spend $29 on this. Now, if you wanna get the entire collection, I think it's a good deal, $79 for the entire collection. And I think there is also a coupon for like 10% off if you're a new member to Ofra. So you guys may wanna check that out for the entire collection. Um, but individually, I honestly don't recommend anything individually. I can tell you that the lip gloss is nice and the mascara is nice, but I personally could not spend that much money in like on the items individually. Uh, highlights, Ofra's highlights are on point. So if you're looking for a highlight, you may look there. Um, but yeah, that's my final thoughts on that. And I really like this little baggie. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. Maybe like traveling purposes or something. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. The giveaway ends on the 29th, so just if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I will pop it in here if you haven't seen it. What else, what else, what else? Comment down below any other swatches that you'd like me to do. I really enjoy doing the eye swatches because I feel like eye swatches is where you can tell like, are you gonna like it? Is it worth it? So um, let me know any other palettes that you've been eyeing that is like new and that you'd like to see. And yeah, please subscribe, 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 subscribe. Bye, guys.